Hello everyone, my name is Navarsai and welcome back to Let's Play Call of Cthulhu Dark Corners of the Earth. So I went ahead, I decided I'm going to do longer episodes for this one because this isn't your typical horror, or at least what horror games have become more like now, where it's all about, you know, immediate jump scares, kind of like Slender or, you know, Five Nights or hell. I, this is much closer to Amnesia where there's a lot of buildup and a lot of story. I mean, even in Amnesia, it was actually just a little more on the jump scare side of things. So, um, yeah. So I decided I'm, I'm going to do longer episodes to try and get more, uh, you know, more content in per episode. So hopefully you guys like that. If not, let me know in the comments. You know, I, I try to keep these things as bite-sized as I can. It's getting late. I better start making tracks. I don't much fancy spending the night in this hole. Yeah, me neither. Anyways, uh, I try to keep the videos as short as I can for, you know, you guys. That way you're not sucked there trying to watch, you know, like a half hour long video. That's probably, though, I'm probably going to be shooting for about the half hour mark on these ones, you know. So, we'll see. Anyways, everything's good. Time to get out of... Uh, hey, buddy, where's the bus driver? Did you hear about Thomas Waits? Yeah. Wait, she'll swing for that. Um, bus driver? Huh. Is he in here? Oh, goody. My... Deep one senses tingling. Evening, Joe. Did you hear Waits killed his own daughter? His own flesh and blood? Damn shame. Maybe. Maybe not. What do you mean, maybe, Charlie? I seen Elliot dragging him off. Caked in blood, he was. I... Birch reckoned she were ripped open, Joe. I don't reckon Tom had the strength for that sort of I ain't got much time for talking, Charlie. I got instructions from the orbs to make certain the outsider doesn't leave tonight. Would that be the strange fella you brought in? But, but I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fairly certain this place doesn't have a continental breakfast. What? What was that? Oh. I wasn't spying on you like a creeper, I swear. You're just waiting for the bus, I am. Waiting for the bus, I am, I am. Yep, that's all I'm doing. Just innocently waiting for the bus. Sure do hope that bus driver gets here soon, because I need a bus out of this hellhole. Oh, why, look, it's the bus driver who I wasn't spying on. Will you be leaving soon? This God, stuff ain't going face, nowhere man. for Lightfella. Engines blown, you see. I have to wait till morning. I don't believe you. Is there another bus out of Innsmouth? No, but there's a hotel behind me. Gilman will have board for the night. Oh, why, thank you. How about instead I just the get in the bus and run? Is Newburyport. Eh, eh, okay, that's not gonna work. Oh, uh, well, I tried. Tick tock. Tick-tock. Is that a book I can actually pick up? No? A dusty assortment of old books. Oops. I don't know if that actually saved. It did. Okay. There we go. Alright. Well, let's go talk to Mr. Gilman. Gilly Goo. Uh, get me a room for the night. Hopefully the turndown service is better than what I'm expecting. It seems the bus has been delayed till morning. Is it, sir? Yeah, That's I actually just shame. listened to you guys talk you about that. you board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Yeah. Whoa. Great. That, that sounds just swell. Hey, uh, you all right there, sir? 
No. Starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Oh, you're one Faces to talk. Faces as bone and eyes as black as coal. Once again, have you looked in a, a mirror? Ghost or something. No, I just saw what seemed to be you chopping up someone. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. Yeah, the sea air. Makes me crazy. The zombies the makes me sneeze. It's not for your outsiders. Charlie. Charlie. Come with me. I need to be telling you something. Perfectly. Excuse me. Perfectly. Sir. Perfectly. The law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be I right back with you shortly. Sure you will. And while you do that, I promise I won't sneak into that room where I just saw you chopping stuff up. Oh, goody. What? What, what even is this? Okay. It's the key to the back office. It's unlocked. Oh dear. The hatchet is encrusted with blood. I'm not touching. I wonder what secrets this book holds. Nothing of interest. There are severed body parts strewn all over. The rug is caked in dried up blood and gut. Nothing of interest here. Yep, I saw nothing. If you just follow me, sir, I'll show you to your lodgings. You know, actually, I heard there was a killing over the old I'm, house I'm, tonight. I'm just gonna walk. They reckon the it's old. It's not that far to Arkham. Killed his own daughter. Yeah, it didn't Kate happen. Had to toe in her blood, they says. It's a lie. Had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. Yeah, because I some be crazy a monster for what killed done. his daughter. Are you even listening to me? You know, look, I, I think that you and I could probably be friends if you, you know, were a little less creepy. A little less, like, all burbisy and stuff. Is this my room? Oh, no, this is a hallway. Okay. Fade to black because why? <laughs> ah, God. First thing You're I do, want to see sir. when I wake up is your you ugly mug. Have yourself some rest. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sleep well. Yeah, not Sleep a chance. Rest. Our sinsmith are quiet folk. Yeah. Oh, whoa, Jesus. Okay, yeah. You just want me to keep down the rackets, that way I can hear the tortured screams of your victims? It's locked. Oh, well, that's a reassuring sign. What? It won't open. It won't budge. I just heard someone. Okay. I know I just heard someone crying. It won't open. It won't open. It won't budge. What the hell even is that? It won't open. Okay. All right. So then, lock that. Keep that open. I'll lock that. Can I? I don't think I can push. Yeah, I can't push that one. So I just have to rely on the locks. So yeah, remember how I use. said uh, a lot of this game seems to take directly from the story uh, Shadow Over Innsmouth? Well, this is that scene I was talking about. Is it not going to let me do it right now? Hmm. Because something tells me this next part is going to be hectic as all hell. And having better controls would very much be useful. All right, so that's locked. I don't think I can do anything else to prepare. The room's cold enough without opening the window. All right, well, I guess we'll see how this goes. Better. Not exactly safe, but the best I'm going to get in this infernal town. Uh, yeah. You know, I'm still a fan of just walking. 
Hitchin back to Arkham, maybe? Is what turned out to be more dilapidated, depressed, and unwelcoming than initially expected. The stench of rotten fish fills the air, while poverty and disease lie festering in every cobbled back street. Only a few of the inhabitants have been at all cooperative. The others are evasive and sometimes downright hostile. My detective's instinct tells me they're trying to hide something. Of course, I could simply be prejudiced by their looks and manners. They're almost ugly enough to get me believing those local tales of the Innsmouth Taint. I don't think you want any part of the Innsmouth Taint, buddy. Even so, I've been able to make some progress. Finding Ruth Billingham was a lucky break. She's convinced Loverboy is still in one piece and being held in the town's jailhouse. Rebecca Lawrence is clearly afraid of something. She doesn't come across as the type that scares easily, but then I guess she's not afraid enough to leave. She seems more worried about me. Then there's Zadok Allen, the old rummy. He was willing to talk all right. I wish I knew whether he turned to drink because of what he saw or whether he saw things because he was drinking. Order of Dagon, some heathen religion brought back from the South Seas by Obed Arse. Rituals on Devil's Reef, those who wouldn't join massacred by some kind of monsters in 1846. It's all so far-fetched. But what else could explain the thing that charged out from Thomas Wade's attic? If I hadn't spoken with Thomas himself, I'd be sure I was seeing things. Whatever's really going on, this place gives me the creeps. The dreams are becoming stronger. I seem to spend each night in weird, fantastic landscapes with immense buildings like no architecture I've ever seen. And my body in the dreams is so strange. I can't begin to describe it. Maybe some buried memory of all the occult stuff I studied when I wasn't myself. And the spooky fit or vision thing is acting up worse than ever. Used to be I could s or kind of see what people were thinking sometimes, but now it's going crazy. It's like someone's watching me all the time, tracking... So he is seeing that. Okay, I was wondering, like... If that was just a game mechanic, like, oh, something stopped. But no, he can see it. I'm so edgy, I can hardly think straight. If only I could get some decent bourbon in this miserable town. I need to track down Brian Burnham and fast. The sooner I get out of here, the better. I'll make an early start in the morning. Oh, you don't even know the half of it, buddy. Oh, God, it's you things. Speaking of ugly. The great city of Nakotas. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. I really don't feel like I am. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You live in time. Ooh. Oh, sorry. Gilman, where have you put the outsider? Top of the house, room 401. Come on, let's have it. staring at me. You're making me all anxious and nervous. Hopefully that's good enough. Hey, 
No, he's not. Owie. Please don't. I'm very allergic to bullets. He's up there. After him. He's not. You don't know me. Hold it. Oh, here we go. I was like, where am I supposed to go? Oh, all right. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. That is almost word or not word for word, but scene for scene, like, one of the scenes from the Shadow Over Innsmouth, sorry. Which I apparently, I need to stop gushing about it, but it's so good. I'm like, I, I've always kind of wanted to see uh, some of Lovecraft's stories turned into a movie. But on the same token, like, I'm just not sure if they could do it well enough. You know, if they could really encompass that feeling of helplessness and horror that he was able to write about. So, who knows? Maybe someday. Ooh. Sounds good. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. One sec, I'm gonna fix this really quick. There we go. Having control of the character would be useful. Alright, so... Oh, I can't go any further this way. Oh, well then. First of all, how beat up am I? Okay, looks like I just... Took a bit of a shot to the arm. Crapple, crapple, crap. Oh, Jesus, this is nerve wracking. Yeah, don't, don't mind me, guys. He gonna turn okay he is turning around Why 
Where did he go? Oh, Jesus. It was like right in my ear. I thought he found me. Ooh. I'm like, I, he I hear him stomping around. Oh crap. Kill him. He's here. It won't open. Kill him. Kill him. The vent is tightly sealed. I won't be able to get inside. Um Just kind of like I got stuck after. Oh man, all the way back here. Ugh. Okay, I will be right back after these messages. Whew, okay, we're back. So I, I apparently just went to the wrong side of the roof, and I am all kinds of banged up right now. I've got a broken leg. Like, look at that. Hey, you know, I think there's a heal all button, but I can't remember what it is. Probably something I should look at. Oh my god, look at me. I'm just, like, tearing through my healing. But, who cares? It's not like I need to be at perfect health, right? It's, I'm gonna die anyways. That's what Cthulhu's about. Oh, thank god a save point. All right, so it's locked them off the roof. It's gotta be somewhere in there. Spread out, start the floor. He's hiding somewhere. <laughs> yep, a hole, a hole in the ground. That's where I love to go. There's nothing, nothing bad ever happened from you know just falling into a hole in the ground. Not like they've made entire horror movies about crap like that. Whew. <laughs> Did they hear that? Did I hear that? Uh, you guys can't see me. Because I say so. Don't mind me. Just sneaking through your warehouse. Gonna make myself a sandwich. Don't turn around, don't turn around. Don't you fucking turn around. Listen to me, I'm being so sneaky right now. Even though I'm being awfully loud by talking to you, but don't you fucking turn around. You son of a douche tree. Okay. So far, so good. I don't think I can go anywhere this way. But going this other way is going to leave me awfully open. And I just, I, I don't feel safe. Ooh. I don't think this is the way I need to go, is it? Hold it! Oh, 
crap. I see him. No, you don't. Who's there? Get him. Hey, look, that's where I need to go. Hey, rat. Hope you guys don't mind. I'm gonna chill down here with you. Maybe you can teach me ninjutsu. I'll become the teenage mutant ninja Cthulhu. Where is he? There's only one place I could have possibly gone. Thankfully, you're all too fat and bulbous to come after me. Okay, there's that. Is there anything over here? I don't know if there's any secrets in this game. Yeah, listen to them. Scrambling around trying to find me. But you'll never find me. I am ninja. These rats taught me the ways of ninjutsu. I think I just tried to make that joke, but there it is again. Okay. Oh, thank God, a health pack. Whoa, what? Shit. A set of account books. Shit, a set of account books. I could see why you'd be worried about that. Okay, we, we don't need to be crouching anymore, I don't think. What? Oh. Oh, man, no. Oh, wow. Okay, apparently the game froze, or actually it crashed. So I'm going to try and reload it and see... Um, if it's going to let me continue from there. If not, I'll probably end the episode here and I'll start the next one after I get through all that stuff again because I have to make it through both sections of the warehouse to get back to where I was, I'm sure. So let's check it out though really quick. Thankfully, I have this crazy power to see through the eyes of my enemies. Otherwise, this might be difficult. Well, I should say more difficult. This is already fairly difficult, but with the crazy gooey inbred evil people freaking following me from every direction and of course they've all got guns and I've got my good looks and wit which both of which aren't very powerful so I just I don't know what I'm supposed to do I'm like another staple of the Cthulhu franchise is you know a how dangerous everything is you've if you've ever played the tabletop Cthulhu game, you get shot, you're pretty much done for. It's not like, you know, D&D &D or other uh, tabletop games where, you know, you're this big, brawny hero, or hero who can take, you know, all this damage and dishing out attacks and left and right and all that. I'm like, I know that other guy. Okay, so far so good again. This is actually better than last time. Okay, the collision on that box is a little bit wide. Hold it. Nope. Not gonna do it. I heard you uh, stomping towards me. Master Splinter, I thank you for your training. Damn! We lost him. They will never suspect me. Yeah, man, seriously. The collision on... Oh, wait, right. That led to nowhere. The collision on the, some of the random items here is just a little bit insane. Okay. Climb up the ladder. Yes, good, good. And then... I was hoping I could skip it, but... Don't do it! It's a trap! The outsider! He's waiting for us out there! Shit. This order really wants me dead. Yeah, they do. watch my step. Okay. Oh, no! Not again! Alright. So... <laughs> apparently... That's where we're going to end this, because I don't know what's going on here. Um, I'll try and figure it out for next time, but, you know, 
obviously every time we go through this so next time i hopefully i'll figure it out if i do i'll start the episode right in front of that save point thank you so much everyone for watching if you have been enjoying this once again please hit the thumbs up button subscribe uh comment all that good stuff and as always i will see you in the next episode Bye bye